Congratulations on being chosen to donate. You may wonder why you have been chosen to donate. Many donors feel anxious or nervous when they find out they might be a bone marrow donor for a family member. Matching the HLA typing is the most important factor when choosing a donor. HLA typing is like DNA fingerprinting. Other factors can also help the doctor decide who will be the best bone marrow donor for the patient. A doctor will check you over and ask questions of you and your parents. The doctor is looking out for your best interest and making sure that it is safe for you to donate bone marrow. Older children will also meet with a nurse practitioner who is called a donor advocate. She will answer any questions that you might have and make sure you understand what it means to be a donor. You will also have blood drawn a few different times before you donate bone marrow. You and your parents will also have an appointment with another doctor who will tell you about the bone marrow donation and get permission from your parents. It is very important to tell the doctor about any new medications, immunizations, or illnesses before your bone marrow donation. Once you find out you are going to be a bone marrow donor, please do not receive any vaccines or acquire new piercings or tattoos. These things might affect your ability to be a bone marrow transplant donor. Donors may be asked to be a part of research studies to help improve bone marrow transplant. It is up to you and your parents if you want to be part of these research studies. On the day of your bone marrow donation, it is very important to come to the hospital on time and follow special instructions about eating and drinking. You will need to arrive to the hospital about one and a half to two hours before the procedure starts. You will meet lots of people who will help you, like nurse and child life specialists. A child life specialist helps calm your child's nerves by teaching coping mechanisms using play therapy, toys, and devices like iPads. Remember, these individuals are here to make this challenging time a bit easier for you and your child. The bone marrow donation takes place in the operating room. Good news, you will be asleep during this time and you won't feel anything. The doctors will collect the bone marrow from your lower back. After the procedure, you will wake up and your parents or a family member will be there with you. There will be two large bandages in the area where they took the bone marrow. You might spend the night in the hospital or you may get to go home at the end of the day. If you do stay, an adult can spend the night with you in the hospital. The nurses will make sure you are drinking, eating okay, and feeling well before your discharge. You can even go and visit your family member and watch your cells being given. The next morning you will go home. You will probably be a little sore for a few days after the procedure. You should rest and drink plenty of fluids. It should be okay to go back to school a couple of days after you donate the bone marrow. Don't worry, you won't be short on marrow because your body makes back what was taken in about three weeks. You may be asked to take some vitamins for a while when you go to help with this process. It is important for you to know that your bone marrow is a gift to your brother or sister. It is now out of your control whether the body accepts this new bone marrow. You did your part and gave the gift and you can be proud of that.